Now, it's relief to pastoralist communities after the government rolled out the lot feed program, which targets to empower and transform lives of livestock keepers from the pastoralist communities. After the first phase of implementation in Marsibit County, the program will be rolled out to 31 other counties. Clement Basombo has more. After the long dry spell witnessed in the country two years ago, the government, through the State Department of Asal and Regional Development, has initiated a feedlot program with an aim of cushioning pastoralist communities during the dry season. On Monday, PS in the State Department of Asal Kelohar Sama signed an MOU with the county government of Marsabit, which would allow the national government to roll out the program. We need to introduce crops there, a variety of crops, drought resistant vegetables, uh, cereals, so that we become at least, this area becomes self-sustaining in terms of food. The program, which will start in Marsabit County, will provide quality animal feeds, sufficient water to sustain the communities during the drought season, as well as provide market for the livestock. Then finally, we will have also uh, incorporation of uh, proper feedlots, proper designs, marketing, incorporated all. The research will bring a lot of factors. So these are what are the components, the real components of what we are proposing, and it's becoming a reality. Speaking during the signing of MOU, the teams acknowledged the effects of drought in the country, saying there is a need to come up with mitigation measures. During the last drought season, Kenya lost more than 2.5 million heads of cattle to drought, with Marsabit losing 70% of its livestock. The feedlot in itself, uh, you know too well, during the last severe drought, as you rightly say, Kenya lost a lot of livestock. In Marsabit here, we lost over 70% of the livestock, livestock that we, we have. And you know, livestock is almost all the elderly possession we have in this part of the country. You know, a way to empower pastoralists out of the struggles they, they go through every time, the struggles brought about by the problems of climate change, whereby the livestock we have been relying on have been severely affected by drought, uh, which we know the past five years has uh, cleared or has killed more than 2.5 million heads of cattle in the whole country. They, however, said introduction of the program would permanently change lives of pastoralists for better. Uh, it means a lot because the locals, first of all, uh, no matter what level of drought, they will not be able to lose their livestock again, never again. Because they'll graze the way they are used to, normally when it is rainy season and when the grass is plenty out there, when it is dry and they can no longer uh, get sufficient grass out there, then they'll come to this um, uh, feedlot uh, initiated by uh, our own government uh, so that no livestock will be lost. Isn't that a great thing? Mm -hmm. The program comes with a lot of issues surrounding marketing, issues of breed, improving breeds, issues of improving health, the veterinary health of animals, something which has never been done before. And therefore, that is why the president has said that we start with the counties which are ready for this program. After the launch in Marsabit, the program will also be rolled out in 31 other counties classified under the arid and semi-arid land areas in the country. Marsabit has donated 5,000 acres of land to facilitate the program. Clement Masombo, KTN News, Marsabit County. Now the